Hey fellas, Dan Brokos from Lead Faucet Tactical. Today we're gonna to talk about the fundamental of stance. The secret to fast, accurate shots is not trigger manipulation. It's a solid stance. Manage recoil equals fast, accurate follow-up shots. Today we have the Lead Faucet Tactical Executive Assistant to the CEO, Gavin Joshua Brokos. He's gonna demonstrate the proper and improper way to utilize your stance with the carbon. All right, fellas, we're gonna talk through our stance. I say drive the gun, don't let the gun drive you. So this is a super aggressive stance. Carbines recoil more than you think. We gotta drive the gun. Go ahead and get in a good, solid, aggressive stance, Gavin. Start from the ground up. His feet, good shoulder width apart, aggressive. Our weight is on the balls of our feet, not on our heels, fellas. Go ahead and lift your toes up. That means he's on his heels. Go ahead and lift your heels up, Gavin. That means he's on the balls of his feet and that's where our weight should be. Slight bend in the knees to absorb some shock, especially when we're moving. We'll work our way up here. He's got a good cheek to stock, his support arm as far as he can get it, and he's pulling back in like this. This arm is nice and loose. Good cheek to stock. The key feature here is getting a weight on the balls of your feet and creating a counterbalance forward. Go ahead and relax. All right, we're gonna show you a stance and some of the mistakes we've seen with a stance. Go ahead and present the weapon. Looks like he's in a solid stance. I'm just gonna come up and push on him and replicate recoil. Look what happened. That's how much a carbine recoils. His toes came up and I seen the buttstock move on his cheek. That means he's not driving the shit out of that gun. Get in another stance, Gavin, and drive the shit out of it like I taught you. Now I'm gonna replicate recoil. The weight is on the balls of his feet. He's pulled back vigorously right here. His knees are bent and he's got a good cheek to stock. And he's creating a counterbalance forward. More, more, more. There you go. Counterbalance forward, weight on your feet. Less recoil, fellas. Faster, accurate follow-up shots. Stance is very important. Drive the shit out of this carbon. Hey fellas, we just talked about the fundamental of stance and we're gonna capture it with a drill. One of my favorite drills I've been using for about 15 years. Um, Sergeant Major Lamb showed me this drill. It's called the VTAC half and half. 20 meters, 10 rounds in 10 seconds. 10 meters, 10 rounds in five seconds. Five meters, 10 rounds in 2.5 seconds. All hits have to be in the eight inch circle. And we'll talk about another way to play it. We can also use a B8 and all hits have to be in the 5.5 inch dot. Great drill got to drive the gun, fellas. It's about managing recoil, and that's what our stance does. Let's see what we got. All right, fellas, 10 rounds in 10 seconds. Drive that gun. Shooter ready. Stand by. Eight seconds. String two. Let's move on up to the 10 meter line. All right, fellas, string two, 10 rounds in five seconds. Got to drive that gun. Shooter ready. Stand by. A little fast, 313. Let's move on up to the five. Shooter ready. All right, fellas, we just talked about the fundamental of stance and captured it with our drill. 30 shots, I got 30 in the eight inch circle. Nice tight shot group, I'm driving the shit out of that gun, don't let it drive you. Really manage that recoil. My goal is 27 out of 30. Once you get good with my eight inch circle, go down to the six inch. Flip my target over, there's a 5.5 inch NRA bowl, then we play that. Our goal should be 27 out of 30 in an eight, a six, and a 5.5. Of course, our 
Our whole goal is 30 out of 30 to execute the drill and we're capturing stance right here. Great drill, tune in next time.